Hey everybody, how's it going? So, uh, I suck at doing video stuff, so we're we're gonna just kind of wing this thing here. Um, so as you can see, I've got the hood off the Mustang. My brother, uh, my birthday's on Monday, so my brother, he uh, gifted me this uh, handy Milwaukee uh, air, uh, cordless ratchet. Some, uh, got some juice behind it. I've gone through, I started moving all this stuff. I've removed the, the ground screws, removed the radiator brackets. They go on here. Um, I've just got to take all these uh, plastic clips off. Got to find my panel tool to get that off. This bolt I've got soaking still because I can't seem to get the stupid bracket off. That one started to break loose, but it's still on there pretty good. Um, trying to not have to cut the bracket or the bolt, but uh, worst case is I have to cut that off and I just have to drill a hole for the bracket and do it myself. So the bumper, um, still got to get a lot of that stuff taken care of. Uh, most of it's hooked up underneath the uh, fender wells, so I've got to do that. Um, you can see the whole condenser this whole assembly now with wasn't really doing much even with the brackets so yeah bumper wise i've got to pull this off so i can get to the brackets up under here and uh pull that off um part of me just wants to just cut the bumper away with my uh angle grinder and just get the bolts that way since i've got to take it all off we'll see um but so far that's where i've started good morning everybody um sorry for the lackluster audio i'm using my headphones again um although Hopefully, after tomorrow, I will be able to up my audio game. I ordered some uh, Road Go 2s, so we'll see how they do. But, as you can see, it is car day today. Um, it's in the 40s by now, I think. Um, not quite warm enough, but um, there it's, it's there. So, we've started a little bit. I've gotten uh, a lot of the stuff off the core support, but we do have a couple more things to do. Um, I've removed the bolts out of the fenders, uh, the upper bolts anyway, so I can get to the hinges. Uh, so that's a good thing. Um, I do have to still get the bumper cover off, and then we can start taking this thing apart. So let me come grab the camera, and I'll show you what we've done. All right, so at a glance, uh, pardon my shadow, um, but we've got that pretty well supported, or loose rather. Uh, likewise with the radiator, I've pulled these off, uh, the upper supports here. Um, but I have removed the bolts. So I can kind of flex the fender out just enough to get to these bolts in here for the hinges. I mean, in the down position, it looks normal, but when you open it, it's like gullwing style. So that's why I ordered new ones. Um, but I did remove things like the ground screws and the mounts. Um, this guy in here, these are tiny little, they're almost like, I think they're 8 mil uh, bolts down in here. This one came right out, but this one is right behind this channel sorry it's just miserable to try to work in sunlight it's right behind here but since this core support is now trashed i'm just going to grab my grinder and just cut this out just a notch so i can stick my socket in there and grab that then we have to come down into here and do the same thing on the uh ac condenser bolts but um first things first i need to get this bumper cover off headlights are all flopping around the bumper cover is loose uh, as you can see so what we have to do is we have to get up under here. We have to pull this, uh, pull these off again. And I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm actually going to see if I can jack the front of the car up um, and get me some extra clearance that way. Normally I don't do that, but uh, if I can get some more clearance in the wheel well, or if I can even get it so high as to get the uh, front wheels off the ground, it'll make it easier to spin the wheels back and forth to get screwdrivers up in here. There's a bracket up in here that holds these together. Um, I basically just need to get that off, and I can't remember if there's anything on the bottom, but we're going to find out. So anyway, that's today's project. We're getting this thing built. So anyway, let me uh, throw the camera back over here on the, on the thing while I go find tools, and we'll get to work. So as you can see, I've got the car, well, you might not be able to see it very well, but I've got the car jacked up mostly. Uh, this wheel's still on the ground. That one's up just a hair. Hopefully it's enough to... Uh, turn the wheels enough to get to the uh, get to the bolts on the what are those things called in there uh, inner fender wells um, we're gonna make noise oh sweet if I jack the car up the door doesn't catch um, so we're gonna do this side first I think
having the uh, car up in the air gives a lot more wheel well clearance, but it also gives a lot more, uh, a lot less resistance to turn them. So it makes it easier. So let's see. First things first, I need a Phillips head screwdriver and my panel tool. Let's go find those. So let's pop this fender liner off. Pro tip, never put your tools down on the battery if you don't want to see a 4th of July light show. There. All right, so as you can probably see now, uh, through a bunch of trial and error, we've got the core support sort of in place. Um, the other fender is on. It's bent from the factory or from the you know the shipper, so that's awesome. Uh, the front edge is the back lip was bent. The front edge is bent. Was packaged in the box really well, which makes me think that it didn't come that way from UPS or FedEx. Rather, it, it got here that way. But um, what we did is we lined all the fenders all up, screwed everything in, and then screwed the top of the core support to the fenders. So that way everything can line up off of the fenders. Uh, last time we didn't do that, and then we had to really jockey the fenders around to get the bolts in. So we put all the bolts in, and then we, uh, we put the hood on. All right, so we've got the hood on it, lined everything up where it needs to go, locked the, fender, the core support into place with these bolts. So now we can clamp the core support into place break out the welder, tack that in, and then we're uh, good from that side. And then it's just going to be a matter of uh, putting the bumper cover back on, the, the replacement bumper cover. Um, can't put the hood on. We don't have the hinges yet, so that's awesome. Um, but, you know, we're getting closer. Um, I've got to get the new hood latch in. Um, we do have the cable here to route down to it, which is great. Um, even got our little plasticky things to hold it in place so that's awesome um, and then we'll uh, replace this upper radiator hose it'll be a lot easier to do now that things are back in place so uh, yep we're getting there uh, we do have to grab some of the hardware off of the old core support so like uh, all these uh, bolt retainers that now have to go into here kind of a shame to put old rusty hardware in a nice shiny core support but is what it is.
right, everybody. Well, you can see behind me, we've got the car, well, together, but it's not finished. Um, I was trying to record all of this stuff, and you'll probably have watched a good chunk of it, and then my phone died. So, uh, so we do have everything in here. Uh, the only problem is that right there in the radiator, you can see there is actually a, a damage section. I couldn't see it before, um, and it does leak there. It's actually right where the... Uh, right where the, the hissing was coming from before. Um, so we do need to buy another radiator, so that's on order. The hood, hood hinges, these are the old ones, so they don't line up right. Um, so that's the thing, uh, and because of that, the hood doesn't fit perfectly. Um, you can see if we walk back here, you can see how much farther back the hood is than the, than the fender lines up, obviously still paint chips and stuff. So it's kind of the same on both sides, that's just because the hood hinges are bent. That's why things don't line up up here a little bit right. Um, but as you can see, for the most part, uh, the car is back together. The uh, We still have to get the bumper clips. We're waiting on the turn signal still, but because we need a radiator, we just kind of left it where it's sitting at the moment um, and the grill's on its way. So a lot of this stuff's coming tomorrow. The only issues we had was, if you can see the, the angle that this comes out, this fender has gotten... Uh, dented in shipping so it goes straight down instead of out to match the angle you can see it kind of comes out and then it bends in so that needs to be straightened up here there's a another little bit of a it bends just a little bit more there it's not awful up here now i kind of got it pulled back into place a little bit but just annoying um you pay you know money for stuff and that's what get, you get but anyway um so yep i have to go order some things the other thing you notice is that the turn signal brackets Let's walk back here to my pile in the shed, for example, or on the, what's this thing called? Um, trailer. So if we look at the old, if we look at the old thing, okay, so this is the right one. Um, these brackets here are for the turn signals. Um, obviously you can see how that goes. Uh, I do need two more of these. This one's fine, but I do need to get another one for the other end. The other end on this is missing one. This is his old bumper. Um, this is what the back of the turn signals snap into. So without these, well, you can't really put the turn signals in. They slot in here and then the holes on the end snap into place. So with these being gone, uh, we need to order some more of those to put the turn signals in. So, so that's basically where I'm at now is uh, having to order the radiator, the uh, turn signal brackets. Um, I guess they're called a bumper bracket, but that's, I just need to come out and verify the part number. Um, and then uh, the other thing I got to do is uh, I'm going to order some more of uh, the, the body bolts, the 10 millimeters. Um, just because we, between the, the couple of wrecks that it's been in and stuff, we've lost a few of them over the years. So I just need a, a half dozen just to tidy down, you know, a couple extra things like uh, extra bolts in the headlights and junk like that. Good morning, everybody. I uh, didn't take the time to hook up the microphone thing. You'll hear the rooster in the background because, again. Um, so we just came out real quick. We got the hinges on, the new hinges. And I've, uh, it's been before work, so I've been spending time just kind of, uh, making this a thing. So now our hood closes. Nice, mostly even gaps. Um, I think I've got the bumpers set about right. The only issue is this one back here. I don't think this is the hood. I think it's this fender needs to actually go down. <laughs> I think it's just because this fender is so bent out of shape in that corner. But the hood does close and the latch does work. Um, I had the grill sitting in here until I realized that the grill that we bought was for a regular bumper and then the bumper he went and picked up is a GT. They are different animals. So yeah, that's great. So uh, I'm gonna have to go search for a GT uh, grill for the time being. But I've just been looking at what we're gonna do with this uh, radiator situation in here as far as how to get it out. I remember taking it out before, but I can't remember how. Um, everything's out here is cool. So, um, I'm gonna do a little research. I think all I gotta do is just pull the reservoir off the top, um, or just unclip it, rather, from the hose. And then, uh, oh, what's the other thing? Um, I know there's a couple bolts on the inside holding the fan shroud on. That won't take much. So we'll take the fan shroud out, fan shroud out. Um, I know there's probably a couple extra bolts in there. I, I think the radiator should come out pretty easily. It does kind of just drop in there. I think we just got to get everything unbolted off the front of it first. Um, someone asked why bother putting the 
condenser on if I needed to put replace the radiator. Well, I didn't know I was going to need to replace the radiator just yet. So I put the condenser on and then um, why well, put the hood on if I need to get all that stuff out? Well, because the hood's really not in the way. Um, for where I need to come out with that radiator and stuff, the hood really doesn't matter. And on top of that, the hood does, you can lift the hood straight up past the prop. You can go straight up with it. Um, so I can always just lift that out of the way in the meantime. So anyway, um, that's what I did this morning. And uh, unfortunately now we're on the wait for the radiator, which is supposed to be here today, but who knows when I'm actually going to get it done. Hey everybody, so how's it going? Uh, we are currently on break from work, so we're rocking outside. The radiator came today, so what we're going to do is we're going to just quick fast and in a hurry start diving into some of this stuff. So a couple things we got to do. Got to remove the upper hose here, got to move this hose off of this radiator here with that clamp. A couple of bolts down there underneath that we got to get to for the radiator shroud. A um, couple down there. We've got to, uh, fortunately the bumper is just setting on, so that can kind of come off. Uh, and I will, at some point, there we go, get both sides off. Move the radiator on this side, I gotta get this side off. Like so, there we go. Bumper set aside. I uh, did find out that we ordered a regular grill and the GT bumper that he got is a different grill, so that's awesome. Uh, Alright, so we do have to pop off the bolts holding on the AC condenser. That's an easy one. Um, and they just pop out of these brackets here. And then it's just a matter of unbolting the couple bolts holding the transmission cooler behind it. Uh, unhooking the hoses and away we go. First thing we gotta do though, we do have to go get a pan and drain this radiator. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully this all goes smoothingly. Uh, I gotta go find a pan. Right. we are almost done with this car um, got the radiator in today on lunch uh, which you'll probably see some of I'm um, gonna go pop the hood um, it is actually down and latched so let's come pop the hood here we just gotta open the door and this should actually work hmm, sounds like it worked seems like a new hood latch is just the thing that it needs let's pop the camera around and there we are. So, new radiator, new AC condenser, everything's there. I just got to get some antifreeze um, and fill this thing. Um, did find, uh, I did buy a bunch of bolts, so I started putting bolts back where we were missing bolts and new bolts here and there and wherever I needed them. Um, otherwise, though, everything is 99% good. So we're going to go ahead and close the hood again, just like that. Now, the only problem we have, two things, still waiting on the turn signals, and the turn signals are also waiting on the corner brackets that the back of the turn signal snaps into. Um, the other thing we're waiting on is a grill, because this is a GT bumper instead of a factory V6 bumper. And uh, the GT bumper, the grill opening, is about an inch wider on each end. So the factory grill, factory V6 grill, aside from these mounting tabs not lining up, um, it's not wide enough. So so that's a thing. Um, otherwise though, everything is uh, ready to go. So uh, 
All that's left to do is get the turn signals in and the brackets to hold them in. Then those will be good. And at that point, the car is drivable. The only thing we'll have to do from there... Oh, I did forget. I have to hook the horns up. Um, we did buy new horns. The original bracket was all busted to crap, so I have to figure out how I'm going to hook two nice shiny red horns up under here. Probably just, uh, you know, there are some holes in the score support, so maybe I'll just uh, kind of figure out a way to get them in there just somehow. Um, that's what this wire is here is actually a, uh, a horn wire, um, so we have to hook that up. The horns I bought are just generic replacements, not universal, or, you know, they're not specific to the cars so um, it'll work uh, we have tested them i just have to wire them different um, but yeah so other than the grill and the lights it's uh, good to go so once i get the lights in he said that they should have been delivered yesterday so whether or not they have well that's a whole different ball game if they have been delivered then we can go ahead and get those hooked up and uh taking a picture even though the liners are bad and off the car, at least it's fun. Um, so yeah, uh, he said that they were supposed to be delivered yesterday. If they have been, then uh, when he brings them up, uh, all I gotta do is wait for those corner brackets, which are supposed to be here, I think Thursday. And then uh, the car is done. And ends uh, a project. So that that's always good to get a project under, uh, under your belt. So the next step is uh, get that done. Then see this weekend about uh, getting some sheetrock in here. Uh, I would feel very accomplished if I got the sheetrock done. Between the installation last week, the car done this past week, weekend and week, uh, and uh, drywall again next week. And I even got my 3D printer leveled. Not that I'm using it anytime soon, but um, all that stuff makes you feel kind of accomplished when stuff gets done. So that's the plan. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully his lights get here soon and hopefully the brackets get here on time. And then we can put them in, get the horns mounted, fill it with coolant, wait on a grill, and away it goes. So anyway, that's the car project. Um, probably not going to bore you with the, the rest of it. I'll probably just take a picture when it's done, and I'll just throw like a quick short uh, picture up on, uh, on here afterwards. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go call it a night. So thanks for watching.